Hello, Kansanians. I'm Lorel, and welcome to Lorel's Moon in this bitch. Join me as I read you your love, baby. Thank you to everyone who's like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. You already know I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do, baby. And if you need to get a personal read from me, make sure that you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, LorelSmoon.com, for any other magical purpose and deviation workings and things of that nature. So, spirit, you are welcome into this reading. You must sage for the Kansadian gods, baby. Okay, so we are going to be taking a look at going into December. Just a little sneak peek, okay? Um, and also coming into 2020, Kansadians. So let's see what's going on in this love relationship, baby. We're going to be looking at the romance angels first. Here we go. Kansadians coming into December. A little scope. All right. Pay attention to the red flags, Kansadians. And also heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. All right, so that's just for one set. Let me get two more. Give me two more for Kansetian engagement. And getting to know each other. All right. So, Kansetian, there's a lot of passion here as well. All right. Let's uh, find out what was going on in the past. Between you and your love, I do feel with getting to know each other, you guys are still in the makings of getting to know each other. Okay, working each other's ways is definitely what I'm seeing here. Now, there definitely could be a real conversation that you need to have with this person, um, especially if you have a lot of passion for them, a lot of sexual energy. Also, feeling like it's going to go somewhere with this engagement um, is definitely what I'm seeing here for some of you guys. But to me, I feel like there could be a lot of things um, that are problematic in your perception or in your or this person kept you at a stalemate, okay, or in between in the past. I definitely feel like you were deprived or they deprived you of things that it could have been passion, it could have been sex, it could have been getting to know them, okay. I also feel for some of you Kansetians in the past, there was definitely some sort of engagement or a marriage that was talked about. But someone could have you know, pull the cord pretty quick is what I'm seeing here, Kansetians. So this is definitely in the past. It, this person made you wonder a lot. Um, I feel like they uh, had you very feeling very indifferent, very stressed out. But the passion was there, okay? So in the past, I do feel that there was a unionship or a connection that was there's a decision or someone had to keep making final decisions because this person kept going that Doing that up and down roller coaster shit with this five of swords energy here, also two of swords and two of cups. So definitely a soulmate connection. You guys were facing each other, but like I said, I feel like in the past um, there was definitely this person was depriving you of something or they were making you feel stressed out because they weren't giving you their all. Okay, but definitely having a different perception amongst each other, between each other is what I'm seeing here. And also having a lot of stalemates between this person. So let's see what's going on with you in the present. Kansadian. Okay, we have the emperor in reverse. Wow. So this person is definitely going through a hard time. I feel like they uh, have a lot of instability going on. Could be very immature. Could be pretending like they have it together, but they really don't on the inside. With this emperor energy here. Trying to control shit, but they're falling the fuck apart. Okay, with the emperor coming in reverse is what I'm seeing in the present. I also feel like um, for some of you guys, there is someone who's bringing in this immature energy, or it could be that you guys feel overall that you need to end some things here. Four of Swords, taking a break from them. Also, Ten of Swords energy here, Kansetian. So in the present moment right now, you guys feel you need to take a break from this person. Okay. I feel um, 
there was a lot of backstabbing going on. That's definitely what these conversations could be talking about between you and your partner. You guys could be talking about these conversations of you all backstabbing each other or, you know, vice versa, whatever the case may be. Um, but I definitely feel in the present moment, you're taking a break from this situation. It could be that this person could have been having two different things that they were simultaneously entertaining. This could be you as well, Ken said him, but there's definitely somebody who was holding or somebody was performing all kinds of things at the same time. Uh, could have been juggling two different people or two different situations. Um, but I feel like there was somebody um, that felt that feels stuck. Okay. So let's see um, your partner's feelings. Your partner's feelings, Ken Settians. All right. So I have the Ace of Wands here. Definitely could be some sexual feelings okay a new leaf that they want to turn over also trying to get a grip of their realities and what they're in touch of also with this knight of swords energy here four of cups i feel like this person doesn't want to draw forth any offer because they are stuck but with this knight of sword energy here i'm feeling like this person doesn't want to make a move because there is so much passion there it's kind of throwing in a lot of confusion which also has them being very critical towards the situation of the harmony or um, trying to control too much of their of the emotions of the situation. Um, but to me, it's kind of like they're not really coming to a final order or resolution within themselves is what I'm seeing here as far as their feelings. Um, they definitely need to figure it out. Could be possible uh, Aquarian energy here with the star. Okay, also could be Gemini Libra Aquarius with the knight of swords okay so i do feel like in your person's feeling they're being very cautious um very reluctant because they are trying to control themselves trying to control their frustrations and also um they feel like you're on top of the situation okay or that you're the one who's um, being very tactful here is what i'm seeing here cancerians and their feelings um i also feel like for some of you guys it could have been um, that they wanted to take a break, but they're going to be watching, okay? It could be Facebook, Instagram, that they're watching you. But I also feel there's some unforeseen things um, that they know that they've done that they can't take back, okay? Whether you did things or not, but they're definitely scouting out the situation, okay? Even though they are pretending to heal. But I feel like um, they knew that there was a lot of people and struggles and conflict and competition, or they could have been putting you in competition with someone else. Um, I feel like very narcissistic energy here as well, Cantadians, for real. Uh, Scorpion energy. Um, I feel like this person, you could be dealing with a Scorpio, but they're being very tricky on the rebirthing of the relationship or feeling like they need to transform and start over, but they still need to take a break because they're very cautious is what I'm seeing here. Now, this person could have definitely had some attachments with a possible Leo as well, Ken Sadian, but I feel like they're definitely guarded in their pain, okay? And they feel like they should have some sort of defense mechanism because they could have been, um, you know, having some obsessions or some addi addictions outside of you. Could have been sexual addictions as well. Okay, so let's see um, their aim. Let's see their aim. We're in the month of December coming into 2020. Okay, so I feel like this person doesn't want to make things come together. They always kind of keep you in this um, this resentment uh, mode, also angry and being and feeling like they have to compete with you. Okay, it could be on that lower level, bottom type of shit is what I'm seeing coming into December. Um, I feel like this Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, possible Leo, Sagittarius, Aries wants to make some sort of offer. But I feel like their aim could be that they're not happy what's happened, okay? Especially could have been between a third-party situation. But I feel like um, they're waiting for you to give out some sort of appreciation or somebody to have some handouts here. They are definitely on some sort of quest, okay? It could be um, a little, just making a little start or trying to start some sort of quest is what I'm seeing here is their aim. Also wanting to communicate with you some sort of idea, but they are definitely jealous because I feel like you guys kind of have that one up. Like I said earlier, you're in control of this situation. Queen of Cup energy here, all right? Strength, two of pentacles. You guys could have been juggling multiple people as well, okay? Definitely a lot of fire energy here. 
sun could be definitely dealing with a Leo, okay, uh, or somebody who has a lot of fire in their chart. But I feel like there's there was some juggling or they could have been juggling two different people, okay, but they also want clarity from you, but they're not really giving it, which is, like I said, kind of narcissistic, but I feel like their aim is to have a relationship with you, but also um, to... Be on that player-like activity, okay? Stealing time, taking time away from you, uh, putting you in the game, trying to keep you in the game is what I'm seeing here, Kensetti. And Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, all right? Uh, Ten of Cup, energy here in reverse. Ace of Pentacles definitely could be some sort of money situation. Um, that's their aim. They could be having issues with their insecurities in keeping money, things of that nature. So, Kensettians. Let's see the environmental factors. Give me two cards for Kensetti and the environmental factors. Here we go. All right. So we have here the hangman energy. Okay. Also the 10 of pentacles. So I feel like there could have been a move or there was some sort of move where you guys distance yourself away from each other. But I do feel like there, someone's wanting something solid, secure, um, as far as in the environmental factors, some of you guys want something that this person can't really give to you. They could be just a fool, okay? Like I said, there could have been some sort of um, someone was leaving or someone left away from this. So it kind of put a disruption in between um, making a, a, some sort of sudden beginning or being ready, okay? But I feel like there was a lot of... Um, fraudulent type of energy you guys were dealing with to begin with okay and these factors i feel like like i said this person definitely has a lot of narcissistic qualities to them okay playing a lot of tricks and games keeping you in um you know under wraps okay feeling like you guys um are entrapped you don't know where which way to go dealing with them okay is what i'm getting here magician energy so i feel like there is seven of swords so I feel like in the environmental factors, like I said, this person is suffering from narcissistic uh, behaviors, okay? Um, they definitely could be holding on to a lot. They also need to make some sort of final decision. I feel like you guys have fallen out of love with this person and it's kind of become very clear, but they're still kind of hovering over you for some reason. Uh, can't say any y'all are the light of their lives, okay? <laughs> Devil energy here as well. So definitely some obsessive behavior. Um, and I feel like to begin with, this person wasn't really, um, showing you their true selves with this devil energy justice as well. Okay. Could have been dealing with a Capricorn, also Libra, Scorpio as well. But I feel in the environmental factors, this person to begin with, um, already had some sort of hidden agenda or a motive. Um, but they were keeping it to themselves or they could have been keeping a lot to themselves. Okay. Let's see about other people. Give me a few cards for other people in this relationship for 20, coming into 2020, baby. So I feel like someone is still sour because there could have been a lot of people that were in this situation, a lot of pettiness, a lot of disagreements. I feel like that's no longer, okay? Because there was someone who was keeping things um, at a standstill, keeping people from the past in this situation. Death energy here. This person is going to try to return to you. Okay. I feel like other people, possible scorpion energy here. There's something you are afraid to nurture. Okay. But you want to give this person some love. But at the same time, you know that they need a break of having all that good love and that can't say it has. I feel like you're putting a lot of work and progress into this, but you're also enjoying the benefits of what's to come. Okay. Now let's see the future outcomes possible outcomes. I feel like you are in the knowing to this, okay, situation. I feel like you were too devoted to this situation. Um, there were some things that you needed to plan ahead, okay, that you could have been moving away from. Some of y'all are going to be keeping your options open because this person brings so much instability here. Seven of Cups, you guys might be online dating, or there might be just somebody that you have other interests elsewhere is what I'm seeing. Also, Will of Fortune, definitely a change of pace coming into 2020. Um, I do feel with this judgment energy here, someone is being very critical of the situation. Like I said, a lot of narcissistic qualities, but for some of you guys, this person really is jealous of you, Kansetian. 
okay? Because you guys have been taking the upper hand, taking uh, things with stride, not being too prideful, and humbling yourself. And this person is really kind of upset. Do you guys remember that movie, Kung Fu Hustle, where in the end, where the guy has this, he's the frog, okay? And dude tried to trick him. And he ended up blasting him up into the air. And he ended up learning the Buddhist palm, that one of the highest form of martial arts. And he came back down and dude tried to trick him with a little pen flower. So he could, uh, I think he was trying to like stab him or something like that. Or the pins would stab, or with the pins would kill him. But in the end, he was like, I'll show you how to be a friend. Okay. Instead of actually, he took the flower and closed and opened it and gave it to him as a flower because it was a, a pen flower. Instead of stabbing him, he was like, I'll show you how to be, okay? But some of you can't say this. This person's been trampled over your motherfucking flower too many goddamn times, and it's time for you to keep it pushing, okay? Now, if this person isn't giving you the satisfaction, honey, then it's time to go, baby, because you got some new things coming in 2020. You got the Ace of Wands, the Knight of Wands. Definitely could be dealing with a fire sign here. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Energy. Somebody is on fire for you. But I, like I said, you guys could have been too nice. You guys could have been showing this person how to be a real friend, okay? But to me, they take they took advantage of it, and it's time to make a change. And some of you guys feel like you're just going in this rinse and repeat cycle with this person. You are definitely going to be um, there. Your person is holding on to a lot of emotions, okay? But I feel like coming into 2020, a lot of you guys want some good news coming your way. If this partner isn't bringing in fairness and balance. Then you're gonna say fuck you, bitch. Okay. <laughs> but definitely some good news coming into 2020. Can settings, you guys definitely could be having two different options. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, also Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, I do feel like if some of you all have let this person go, there is new opportunity on the horizon. Someone's been watching you with the page of swords. They could have been watching you online. Empress energy here. They want a new beginning. But if you haven't put in that work and you've just been keeping things on the hush-hush, um, then it's time that you get out there because there's definitely a lot of things that this person was hiding, okay? But I feel a lot of you guys have new beginnings coming in. So let's get some advice cards where you can set in. Let's get some advice cards for can set in. Here we go. Trust. So trust what's going to happen. Let it all come out, okay? Your person might not be able to confront their demons, but it's definitely saying that there is some things coming together. It could be unforeseen as well. For some of you guys, you could have been you could have been isolating yourself too long, mastering how to close your heart down and shit, okay? And sadness. But to me, right now, I feel like you're gonna be healing, okay? And there's also for some of you all new vitality coming abroad, okay? Because some of you guys have taken on taken on a lot, all right? And you deserve this shit that's coming in, Kenzetti. And look, I'm rubbing my eyes like, damn, I am. I need the new shit to come in too, okay? Let me get one of these soulmate oracle cards for Kensetti and a new vitality looks good. That's what this Empress is talking about. Okay, in the end, you tried and you cared, and sometimes that is enough. Damn, Kensetti, talk to me. So, like I said, you guys could have given this chance after chance. Show this person how to be a friend and everything. Okay, but for some of you guys, you need to really take back your power that this person took from you. Take it all in, okay? So, I feel, Kansetians, this is looking good, especially if you're taking your power back, okay? Now, for some of you guys, I really feel like this person had a deep, dark soul, and they weren't really revealing much, okay? And this peace comes within for sure and it's saying the reason it hurts so much to separate is because our souls are connected so some of y'all feel really connected to this person like it's just an undying love but to me I feel like you're really analyzing that you tried okay and that you cared but that was all that you could give all right Kansetians 
All right, guys, I'm going to get on out of here. I love you guys so much. This looks beautiful. New vitality coming in. I will see you guys in the next video. If you need to get a personal read for me, make sure that you all hit that description box down below and check out my website, laurelsmoon.com for any other magical purposes. I do see that page of swords spying at me too, Kinsettians. So watch, be, be watchful because somebody is watching you, baby. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.